Right, there we go. Hang on a minute. What's that there? There we go. Right, we're on. We're on. We're on properly now. Right, five people watching. One second. Nice view of the shower from below. Ban him. Anyway, right, everyone, we're on. Yeah, I did a thumbnail in the in the bathroom, and then I meant to actually do it in the spare room. Um, hopefully, no one actually really saw that, but or hopefully that only that one person saw that. But anyway, there's a new thumbnail on there now, or there should be. Um, yeah, right, we're all on. I always forget when I create the live event, it does it so that then it's like then, like there and then you have to go on. But I always forget to actually schedule the event for half one instead of just doing it like there and then, as I said. But anyway, got my sonic screwdriver with me and I'm very excited. Yeah, I love it. Anyway, yeah, I've literally, I've flicked this about, it must be about 250, 300 times now of doing that. But yeah, it's awesome. Anyway, we're going to get on with the content. Um, I'm in my summery shirt, as you can tell, because it's boiling hot again today. And not that I'm against that, but God, it, you know, it, God, it gets you, doesn't it? Um, Nick says hi, Southwest says hi, Andrew hi, Chrissy hi. Right, okay, so we've got an auction haul today. I don't know how much of it we're going to actually get through. Basically, I brought, brought it all down. It's all in front of me now. Um, how the hell are we going to get through this one? I haven't a clue. But I'm just going to... I want to go through it all with you. Like, literally every single item, even for a second, you know, showing every single item. So that's what I'm going to set off and first start off doing. And if we need to sort of speed it up a little bit, I'll probably, I'll probably skip a few items and things like that. But... I want to show you everything, I want to show you the outright fails, I want to show you the things I was cocky on and that I shouldn't have really had a bid on, I want to show you the fantastic items, I want to show you everything, so that's what I'm going to try and do. So which box should we start with? We'll start with this one because this is like all really like lower value ceramics, um, Philippa is in there. Hi Philippa. Um, so I'm just going to take these out because these aren't actually with that. Um, so I'm just going to take those out and this out because that isn't with that. Um, so I bid on a few ceramic slots like Studio Pottery, things like that. Because um, that's the route I want to go down. Like a lot of Studio Pottery, unfortunately it's, unfortunately it's a slower seller which isn't the best but you know I've got my generalist items as well so that's okay. And also vintage toys. So studio pottery, vintage toys, um, and metalware. I quite like metalware, so I'll probably do a bit of metalware. And generally, I'll probably stick to that sort of range um, for the next few months at least, and then I'll branch out. But you know what I'm like. You know what I'm like. I did get something different than, than my demographic um, because I couldn't help myself but have a bid. But we'll get on to that anyway. So. I got this, it's, it's literally like a banana box, it's got just like lower value ceramics in, but I thought I'll take a punt on it, 15 quid it was, uh, plus commission, and this, I'll show you this first, because I've actually looked this up, it's worth stating that I do not know prices of everything, so some things I'll just be showing to you and saying, oh yeah, that's that, and that looks quite nice, and that sort of stuff, I don't know prices of everything, because I've not been through a lot of this stuff yet, but I do know this one. This is on eBay for seven quid. I'd like to bundle it with something just to get it, make it a little bit more of a valuable item so that then I feel worthy of listing it because if I'm listing it for 6 99 free postage, which is what it's sold at, it's like, where's the profit in that? I don't know, but anyway. I might list it on its own, but if I can find something to bundle with it, I'll do that and then, and then it seems more worth selling to me. Um... But yeah, that's that one. I've got this. I don't know what this is, but it's got some mark on it there. University of Virginia, 1819. Uh, little, uh, what do you call it? Like a, what do you call it? Like a beer, a beer, not a stein. It's not really a stein, is it? Like a 
Tankard, that's it, beer tankard, ceramic beer tankard. So that's that one, just in that box. Um, we've got a couple of these bog standard. Um, now, the reason I've got this lot is because I'm trying to start on the like the uh, bottom level. I'm not like going to the 10th floor and buying like Dalton Lambeth and all, you know, real nice sort of stuff. Uh, and Lalique glasses or vases or whatever vases and all that sort of stuff. I'm not, I'm not starting at the tenth level. I need to start at the ground level. So that's why I've got the sort of a uh, real lower value stuff. But still, I'll enjoy listing it. Um, this is a 18.75 cl little bells whiskey bell thing ceramic. Um, there's another one of these as well. But I think this one's missing its top. Well, yeah, it should have had a top, shouldn't it? So that's missing its top. Um, but I'll probably sell them together. That, it's got a bit of uh, tear to the, um, to the what's that called, um, sticker there. Um, high retro boot disc. So, yeah, oh, they're made by Wade as well. Um, Wade did a lot of this sort of stuff. Um, and I've got some more Wade stuff, actually. That, that tankard there's Wade. Tank, but Wade did loads and loads of stuff. The ones I remember were the pigs. Um, and then Wade Whimsies. Are they right? That's right, isn't it? Wade Whimsies. Um, but that was those two. I'll probably list them together and get some money back from that. Uh, Chas is in there. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. I always say that. I never know how, you, how to pronounce your name. I think that's right. Um, I got... Is it Wedgwood? Yes, it is Wedgwood. But I didn't even know. I thought it might have been like a... Um, a copy of it, but no, it is actual Wedgwood. It says Wedgwood on the bottom. I don't really know on that. It's just, what do you think that actually is? Is it like a a little planter or something? Do you think? I don't. I don't quite know. Um, not a big fan of Wedgwood. Obviously, it's not valuable. I mean, I think it used to be the prices were a little bit better, but now it's come down the last few years. Um, but I, I've never really been a fan of it. I don't particularly like it, but it was in the little. Um, I'd have you looked at crockery from the auction, slow sales but cheap to source and lots of profit. Yeah, I, I, I look at, this is the thing, I've been to a couple of auctions, I'll just put this down somewhere. Um, I've been to a couple of auctions and I've looked at loads, there's loads of dinner services, you know, big um, tea services, all that sort of stuff. I don't know, I might get into that a little bit, but I, I like the one-off pieces and stuff like that and I'll show you one in a sec actually. Um, but I'm going through it lot by lot, so then it's, you know, we're, we're, we're sort of sectioning it off. I don't know, I might do. Um, that pot is Jasperware, not much value, no, I didn't think it was. Um, yeah, so, I don't know. There is a demand for mismatched crockery. Oh, so like, not necessarily a full service. Like, different ones from maybe different services, or just um, random crockery tea like sauces and stuff like that that's interesting because i didn't really fancy doing the big services because i didn't know whether i'd have to sell them all as one and then posting it it's just I, i'm fine posting ceramics and other people say like oh god i would never post ceramics and stuff like that i'm fine posting them basically you just need to like attack them when you're packing them just really pack them in um, and if you think you've done enough, maybe do a little bit more. That's generally how I do it. But, um, yeah, but the big tea services and dinner services, I would be very, uh, I would get a bit nervous about packing those. Um, but I suppose, you know, if it's done in the right way, it's all right. Uh, trio, cups and sauces, tea plates can all be mis mis mismatched. Ah. I bought some crockery in the past, found it hard to budge, to be honest. Got a box full for a fiver to got money back. But not much more. Yeah, um, I don't think it's going to be... This job lot's going to be major profitable or anything like that. I think I'm going to make a little bit of money on it. And that's going to be that, really. And I think it is going to be quite slow to shift. But I, as I say, I wanted to start on like the ground level rather than... Um, you know, just like go straight to the high level ceramics first off. Um, but hopefully over, you know, over a few months on the channel or over a year or so you'll see me st start to change, you know, and progress to the to the, to the higher level stuff. Um, but I have got a couple of nice pieces in, in this job lot down here. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I got this Royal Worcester. I mean, there's money in all of this stuff, but it just depends how much. Um, 
This is Royal Worcester, like little plates in a little, probably ten a penny these in a little thing with your little Royal Worcester thing there. Probably ten a penny, not much money in them I doubt, but um, but it came in with a little job lot anyway. Um, I've got random plate. I don't think that's anything, but trinket dishes. Oh, is that what they're called? Trinket dishes. Well, there you go. More knowledge. I've got more knowledge. That's good. Look at this. Everyone's feeding me knowledge. My brain's going to be, like, really out here in a year's time. Um, this is... I don't know. I don't know if the brand 1764, or is that the year? No, I doubt that's the year. That's not going to be the year. Um, <laughs> don't know why I thought that. Um, made in GDR. I don't know. X. Ect Cobalt or something. I don't know, but it's got a bloody sticker on the back, which is annoying. Again, I don't think it's much, but you know, we'll see, we'll do a bit of research. This is one that ooh, this is one that intrigued me. It's Delphs Delphs Blue. Is that how you pronounce that word? It's B B L A U W. Blue? Blue? I don't know. Um, hand decorated, 332 is a number on there, but Delphs, yeah, and that's that, so, I think that, that intrigued me a little bit, that might have some value, um, but I don't know, you know, it just intrigued me a little bit, I've got a Christmas plate, Royal Dalton, again, nothing, nothing major, um, it, I might actually save that to go in my cabinet at Christmas with those other couple of, uh, plates I got, um, because if them two are going away, I may as well save that one. And I'm not going to get much in my cabinet at all, but it may as well be stuck in there at Christmas time. Um, I got these now. These might be something as a little set. There might be some money in these as a little set. It's a Moco product by Wade, design authenticated by the Veteran Car Club of Great Britain. And we've got these little cars on. Um, you know, but one of those things that were probably mass-produced, and then people bought them up and collected them, thinking they'd be worth bloody hundreds in the future or something. But we've got all the, you know, we've got information on the back of what the car is and stuff. And I've got three of them. No, four of those. I've got four of those. So maybe as a little set, there might actually be a bit of money in them. Um, I don't think they're going to be loads. But I'm thinking maybe like 12, 15 quid for the set of four. I don't know. I, I literally don't know, so don't take my word on that, but I, I think there's got to be something in them. Oh, it's falling a bit. I'll quickly get through the rest of this job lot. Uh, not a lot, we're just going through crockery and stuff. Um, so these are two uh, Peter Rabbit plates by Wedgwood. Um, the good thing about most, yeah, all of these is they don't have those horrible um, plate wall hangers on. You know the ones, I mean the plastic ones that ruin the edges of the plates, um, but yeah, anyway, that's those two, there's two of them, um, there, yeah, it might be something, you know, as a little bundle, I don't know, um, but those, bit of, like, commemorative wear, nothing special, from a certain Pope, John Paul II or something, I don't know, I don't know who was the Pope back then. Oh yeah, John Paul II, yeah. I was reading it off that and that isn't very clear, but yeah, uh, 1982. Mm. I don't think that's anything, but we'll see. Uh, GM 1910 to 1930. Ooh. Ooh, see, this intrigues me. This intrigues me. When you find something like this in the little job lot, it's a uh, 1910 to 1935. GM John Coop Mayor. I don't know. And then it has a little picture of... Who's that at the time there? George V? I don't know. If that is the king at the time, I don't know. But that's in. Right, are we back at... Sorry, someone rang me. Someone rang me. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, but that's intriguing. That's worth a little bit of uh, a research. There could be something in that. No, oh. oh, everything's flashing at me. Um, but yeah, so that's that one. You missed a call from so and so. Um, 
And then just very quickly, last few little bits. Um, add bag, bad lag. Oh no! Why? Why'd you do this on me? Just got a ka-ching. Nice. Um, a little bell, like a... Oh, it's Ainsley. It's Ainsley. It's an Ainsley little bell. Um, one sec, I'm going to try and fix the lag. Right. Technical glitches. Let me see. Crashed. Oh, bloody hell. Crashed. Why is it this YouTube live on your phone is terrible? Is anyone there? Can any? Is it actually laggy or? Let's see. Let's see. The router. The internet can 